Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, we are now going to follow the yellow, the king in yellow. Yes. Uh, who is Estir. She's cute. Yes, super cute. She's real cat. All right. Act one, invitation, setting, exterior, in view of city, host. Click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Greeting, strange. Okay, then I have to do that. And then the king enters disguised. Uh, oh, jeez. All right. So I'm the host, and the king is disguised. So uh, yeah. I have to go oh, no. on the roof. Okay, all right. Exterior, in view of city. Okay, so I have to go outside. I see. All right, here we go. All right. Greetings, stranger. Tis a far party for farty for which I bellow. Oh, hey. here you go. Whoa. Greetings, stranger, fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye in yellow. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost yearl. <laughs> Hope for us there may st be still. <laughs> Shadows lengthen, <laughs> dim streets darken, to the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yidl? Only much attention, quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor Yitil. Why attract so much ill will? Yo, you're spitting fucking bars! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. This is just what I must seek in the hidden with the boo 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 boo. This is what this is just what I must seek. See, uh, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invitee I seek. He shall all my mistakes undo. <laughs> Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish. For the king is whom they say, which shall this city indeed spite. If he comes, Yiddle, and you, and I will know his might. All will be, lo all will be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Um, uh, <laughs> let me check the lines. Yeah, I know the answer. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing. <laughs> Farmer in the dell. All my friends whom strife have caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. <laughs> cause with cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Yay, they love it. Oh, they do. Gonna, they do love it. These they're, guys gonna beat the shit out of me? No, they're applauding. Oh. Bravo! Simply splendid. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. <laughs> now the world will be devoured. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but I was just gonna do the music man. I play Winthrop. <laughs> Gary and Diana, Gary and Diana. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop. <laughs> 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 You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> a virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. I tried to get my McDonald's to start the big Macbeth. <laughs> They weren't into it. <laughs> oh, were they not? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what role were you? The Fuck! <laughs> this fucking microphone! My god! Oh, lord! Fucking... I thought we were on, like, a popular channel! <laughs> Can we afford a fucking mic stand? Alright, we're good. It works, you just- Okay. You got it all loose. We're good, we're you good. You gotta tighten it. Right. Tell me, what role were you the leading man, I presume? I was duty <laughs> yeah. in Greece. More or less. I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a role. <laughs> but tree and four are different numbers. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> you, were, you weren't even the leading tree? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. 
Wow. Oh. <laughs> you are good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. 5G. <laughs> you know... <laughs> You're not vaccinated, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast. It's a literal rule. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing the play again. <laughs> or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa, like mm. your apartment. I see. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. Oh. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains? I'll never close them again! <laughs> oh, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas. Parting is such sweet sorrow, and maybe sometime until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. <gasps> Ooh. Look at this dear rules, dude. Forehead smooch. Well, it looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Damn. Lunetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Astir is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Do I want to date the really beautiful woman who likes me? Or the fucking horrific octopus monster that wants to annihilate the planet and then kill me. <laughs> but <laughs> choices, choices. Kind of depends on my childhood, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to get stepped on or do I want to get stepped on? <laughs> Between Lynetta and Astir, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? That's a good way yeah. to determine what girl you'll go out with. Do I stay with Lynetta or do I follow Astir this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches after all. <laughs> I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. That's 200% the amount of smooches. <laughs> Maybe I should date like a real girl. Uh, if I want to smooch Astir, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear and use Astir's book. Maybe if I try going for both, uh, well, walking down the middle of the road is about to get me run over. As long as <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna call hospital. <laughs> Somebody take me to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I like that saying. As long as you're, if you're standing in the middle of the road, you'll get run over. That's true. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I feel like everyone goes through some form of this situation. <laughs> Not really, dude. <laughs> I like Lynetta, and I also like Astir, but I'm gay! <laughs> what? what am I gonna do? <laughs> Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? That's where she smooched you. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Mom's right. spaghetti. Close, open. Wait, so I don't want to perform the ritual of calling. I think you need to, right? Why? Well, it, it has to start that way. Why can't I just wait till night? Oh, wait, so are we just, like, repeating the game, but now a steer is here? I think so. Now oh. now you have choices. I don't know, man. I just want to hang out with a steer all day. I know. She's so cute. And she's, like, got that step on me energy, which I like. I'm, like, way into that. I know. Never leave the lights off. Okay. But I don't think this game progresses unless you start doing this. Is this true? Yes. Oh, fuck. All right. You, you want that smooch, do you not? <laughs> you I must face your ex, Aaron. Not <laughs> smooch. Smooch is. Uh, light red fire candles. Dark is dangerous. Put on your ritual necklace. All right, time to chant. Lynetta, a fart. Mortal 
for what purpose have you... Darling, it's you! Hey, Lunata! <laughs> it's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. Yeah, she was pretty upfront about how she was going to kill you and all your friends and family. <laughs> she got to respect it. What would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me, to that world we dated in? Dated is a strong term. <laughs> that reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Just as I thought. Only... Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing! <laughs> no, say it. <laughs> <laughs> You're still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. Aww. Everything in existence <laughs> is being dreamed about by at least one eldritch god. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's like looking at the sea of bodies. It's just like, I think it's Aww, sweet. She's... I think it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of sweet in yeah. a terrifying cosmic way. <laughs> what would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all at once? <laughs> Fuck. Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. Cool. And that, oh. That can just happen at any time. Nah, no, don't worry, there's about 50 of us total, so the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. Wait, you're telling me there's 50 hot eldritch babes? I need to wake them all up! <laughs> and try to smooch them! Gulp, there's only like 50 of you in all? She probably knows the steer very closely. Mm, kind of like a big family, huh? Family? D do you know a steer? A steer? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially- Oh, dear. Oh, I'm Especially dating her sister, sister, man! <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Her sister was a witch! <laughs> sister! She came down in a tentacly bubble, dog. <laughs> Ugh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing- <laughs> Oh, man, you've gone and done it now, Aaron. <laughs> She came down in an abyssal mist, dog! <laughs> <laughs> she came down in a Euclidean geometric bubble, dog! Uh, don't, uh, have a great relationship with her? Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Heh, <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward, huh? <laughs> Darling, what's that on your forehead? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? Nah, just a girl. Because <laughs> if it is, well, you die here. No way. Did a steer leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. Oh dear. It's uh. It's what? Come on, man, just bullshit it. <laughs> Say something. Say something. It's ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals. <laughs> oh, really? Y yeah. Which ritual? <laughs> oh, man. Um. <laughs> it's. It's secret! I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can spare you. Oh, yeah, I could have just said that. Oh, great. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. <laughs> okay? You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not! Why would I care about that? When it's a race against other gods to as mass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Oh, sick! <laughs> We're in an open relationship? This is awesome! For Grammy Roxon, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from her following. Whoa, who again? Could you write that down? <laughs> it's her grandma, dude. Uh oh. Grandma Roxanne? I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods. Or the mother goddess of fertility. So does she have a number? Or a fertility goddess, you say? <laughs> No 
funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do to you if you cheated on me with a family member. Well, you already blinked everything I ever knew out of existence, so what the fuck else would you do? Gulp. Gulp. <laughs> Steer. I love her even more now. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynette's, Lynette's spells again. Eldritch hand saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? <laughs> Caught in a love triangle, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the ritual knife, put this back, put the robe back. Oh, didn't even take it. How about that? Oh, bathroom. Oh man, so you're really just here now, huh? <laughs> oh, oh uh, yeah. Darling, what's this I found under your bed? Uh, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. I haven't translated it yet, but its diagrams are useful. Oh, you've studied extensively then? You Babe, could this is say a, that. This is a fucking porno mag. I can't even open the pages. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the glue they use is really strong. <laughs> I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Uh, I guess. Why? What's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. <laughs> what? Really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. Like she, a really, really informative one. I love how she has a human bra. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> Big slippery shog goth girlfriends, volume three. I bet you could learn a lot of anatomy from this. Perv. She, well, I said I haven't translated it yet. How was I supposed to know? By looking at the pictures? Yeah. How could I translate it when I was so busy jacking off? <laughs> this girl on the front isn't wearing a thing. She's topless. That's a girl? It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I looked like? <laughs> oh my god. I really truly don't, trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. I could never have eyes for anyone else when I'm with you except your sister. You're my dream girl. <laughs> nah, sheesh, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> I hate blushing. <laughs> I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag, honest. It's okay. I mean, I still can't tell, to be completely honest. <laughs> I forgive you. That said, can I keep it? Oh, whoops, that's you. That said, can I keep it? Not a chance. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it! <laughs> Magoka ya! Magoka ya mom pog nixlagola! Empreg poggers! There's- oh, gross. Hey. It's grosser now. You wanna be the Eldritch Mouth? <laughs> Yo, scream! <laughs> just keep saying, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's fucking go! <laughs> uh, Eldritch Mouth, can you translate this? <laughs> fucking poggers, dude! <laughs> let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I gotta get rid of this mouth. Yeah, shit. Shit, still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now, forever. Great. Ah, uh, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have like a date date. Yeah? Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here. Oh god. Yeah. Oh no! No, wait! Wait, what is it? Uh, are you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? <laughs> Cause you stank. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh. Uh, no, don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? Just a tad salty. Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking by, I love you. <laughs> that was a close one. If she opened that window, a steer would have came. <laughs> and then I would have. <laughs> I would have been a goner. <laughs> Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date a steer, it's go time. Oh, man. Right now? Aaron, are you sure? Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that that window never opens, ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Oh god, oh crap, oh man! When will you understand? I'm nervous! Your actions have consequences! What are you gonna do, Aaron? I'm gonna fucking date a steer, dude. Oh, you fucking ballsy bastard. Your death waits in that bathroom. What's up, girl? <laughs> 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 what is it now? I was just thinking, you know how saying your name summons you? 
Yes, what of it? There's an old myth that's saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight summons an angry demon to your room. It's Biggie Smalls he's thinking of. <laughs> really? I've never heard of such a ritual. Does that work? It summoned my neighbor telling me to shut the hell up and go to bed. <laughs> so sort of. Cool. Anyway, let's talk quick because your sister's going to murder us. Yeah, it's, it's, she, she takes quick showers, man. Backstage in a closed room with a mirror, prepare the host for scene two by doing the following. Apply the masquerade mask. Adorn the host in elegant robes. Affix a ritual knife. Okay. okay. So I got the ritual knife. Masquerade mask. I'll do the robe and the masquerade mask. Done. Easy peasy. When all is complete, look in a mirror to ensure the costume is oh, prepared. Oh, God. Properly. The only mirror is in the bathroom. Well, that's okay. Oh, shit. You look great. Uh-oh. All right. Looks like everything's in place. Okay. My eyes are bleeding, but that's fine. I feel all gussied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Lynette is showering in here, I better meet with a steer in the other room. I can't believe one Eldritch Horror was like, you can literally date anyone in the world that you want. Just don't date another god. And you're like, cool, thanks. And like 30 <laughs> seconds later, you're talking to another god. Well, that's who I want to smooch, dude. Oh, God. All right. Fine. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me, and... I already know what you're going to say, Your Highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? Ah, you clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Ugh. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Oh, it is. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. I'm sure that's normal. It's stuck to my face somehow. Oh, dear. Ow! Ow! It really won't come off! Oh! I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask, so neither shall you. <laughs> Good luck with my fucking sister yeah, now! Jesus. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant, correct? I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Bornana! <laughs> the mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This is... What do I have to wear this to work? When I can see family? When I see Lynetta? Oh, I mean, wait a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks suck to them, too. Oh, yeah. Are they past followers who became his dear servants? Is that going to be my fate? Awesome, I'll have friends. <laughs> I guess we we'll do it Anyway, here, I'm on a third of the way to that smooch. Look at him, okay. And then setting, interior, well lit. Okay, I have to well lit the interior. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's start, my mm. my hu my hubby, my ba baby. Welcome, company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. L Lynetta! <laughs> <laughs> no attendants have arrived tonight, alas. Besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Interesting I, rhyme scheme. I fucking do it right. Mm -hmm. Lay thine hands do, upon- Do you want me to do this so oh, you don't have to do everything? Sure. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, to lasting till your after- Oh, God. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. All will be yours once he arrives. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, oh shit! Oh, fucking. What did I do? What happened? Wait, what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> shit! Worth it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Masquerade. Alright, looks like everything's in place. What did you do? I don't know. You clean up well. Fuck, 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 shit. Fuck, shit, fuck, 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 fuck shit. Fucking fuck. Did you just go too fast to the next part? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, here we go. Wait, did I, do I have the elevator? I think you have on? to do that one again. All right, here we go. No, I th Well, all right. Blah, 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 blah. 
Said a bunch of shit, pretty cool. Right. She, okay, I don't think you do this yet. Why? Um, I think she said let us drink or something, so maybe... Perform a perfect recitation. Yeah, that's the, this. Oh, is it that you went off the line? With the mouth? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Oh, I see. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. <sighs> Be thee graciously obeisant. <laughs> Demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation. He receives upon his court. All who live in doomed hill will know without report the king arrived by your escort, a prophecy of grim import. I feel like we're reading the lyrics of a ghost song. <laughs> yeah, did pretty good, right? I love him. I can't wait to read the reviews. Uh, okay. An immaculate perform- Oh, do you want to still do her? Sure. Yeah. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. There is only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. <laughs> you die! <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, yep. <laughs> and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. I, I thought it said penisless. He dies penisless alone <laughs> in infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm gonna die? I thought you said it was a comedy. <laughs> it's hilarious. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Uh, but I'll be really close to dying. Yeah. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I'll be like right in my body when it happens. <laughs> I get that she's an outer god, so human mortals don't really apply to her. Human but morals. Oh, uh, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. Uh, no way I could go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. So I However, prepared this hot bath. My wrath is a terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. Okay. So for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, well... This shower's going on for a long time, eh? Thank God. <laughs> Uh, red fire candles allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake, or a hungry, uninvited guest may arrive. Oh, uh, that would be a little Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, well, the fire light candles are on. That's good. Red fire candles allow the king into the room. All right, great. Um, chant. Um, all right, here we go. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. Oh, thanks. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical- I'm vegan, sorry. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. A steer is strutting towards my bed. <laughs> chicken fingers, chicken strips, and chicken nuggets. <laughs> Oh. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. But wait, where's the mac and cheese? Right here. <laughs> <gasps> you do love me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. Oh, fuck yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? Hey, are those the masked stalkers outside? Yeah, I feel like I should ask that. If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Estier's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with the steer. Hmm, just a moment, dearest. Oh. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Uh, three. Silk? S silk. Oh. My blankets are cotton. Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. All right. Silk, I hate soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> so picky. 
If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. <laughs> you think she has a princess <laughs> complex? <laughs> ah, no. She is a princess, dude. Mm, delightful. I'm glad. Another. Oh, hey, think I could have one of these? Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. <laughs> Piece of scum. <laughs> oh, yeah? So you won't any eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I'm pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. <laughs> I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm, delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. L let me try. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? Hmm. I, I don't want it after all. <laughs> nice. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on. Mm, it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? A fate worse than death. <laughs> <sighs> Give me the cream puff. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot I was hand-feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mmm, it really is delightful. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. Front? I do more. <laughs> her sadistic front, middle, and back. <laughs> I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the f performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? Also, your sister's going to kill me if she sees that I've been talking to you and I have your mask nailed to my face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <sighs> I suppose. Very well, let us resume the play. Uh... Hey, Lynetta, what's going on? Oh my god. Just lock the door. Hey, um, I'm locked in here. Why does your bathroom lock from the outside? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's weird. Setting, interior, no light besides open window. Okay. Okay. I think that's the way it is. Nope, there we go. And probably candles need to go out, too. Thank god she likes long showers. Or yeah. she literally would have been ripped limb from limb by this point. My skin's fucking red, man! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> well, she is an octopus. Damn the night! And morrow scornful! Wicked morning unremorseful! Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitious unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it only still that H is the only preparation that works? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? That was a hemorrhoid joke, <laughs> eldritch goddess. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho why so livid? It's your actions that permitted. Thus result, uh, this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. Know your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die. It's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. I'll take some greasy food. I don't fucking care. It's close to that smooch. Are we gonna finish this next time on Game Grips? Ugh! Fuck. All right, fine. Yes. God, I can't wait mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Uh, bye. Goodbye then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, we already started the episode. <laughs>